lost four in a row all competitions. Something's got to give tonight. Underway, Challenge Cup action, Portland hosting San Diego, both needing a win. Worthy of note when the U.S. score, as they just have. This is Weaver. Weaver crossing, bounces down, it's Bedford. Hammers it home. It's Portland with the lead. Two goals in two games for Hannah Bedford. And Morgan Weaver continues her eye-catching performance form. She's electric when she gets the ball at her feet, has really come to life on this left-hand side for Portland. But it's Portland's press who causes the turnover, kindly falls to Weaver in the wide space where she gets isolated, takes a separating touch, and forces an initial save out of Shea Yanez. And Hannah Bedford does exactly what she's meant to do in this position. She finds herself in the right position at the right time, there to clean up the rebound from Cortez, smashes it home, two goals in two games in all competitions for Hannah Bedford and gives Portland the early. To initially break that up. It's Izzy Dequila leading Weaver, cuts by Cortez. Weaver leaves it off. Dequila ricochets. Yanez will not get there at one. Leading Dequila wide. Dequila across, header is high. Bedford's on a tear, nearly another one. Oh, and through for Dequila. Off the turnover, Portland into the final third, laying into the box, it's Weaver. Yanez reaches out, palms this aside. There's that patented Weaver smile. Coffee offering, header away, picked up by Moultrie. Can and will go from here. Yanez again. Leaping out to make the stop. A contact with the upper body as well. There it is. Still it's Korniak. What a save, Bixby. There's your save of the week. Here's a look back at that last opportunity. It's good ball in here from Turnbo. And Taylor Korniak moving away from goal still manages to redirect this one on frame with enough pace and power. Great decision making from. Flicks it through. The chance here. Swings wide. Turnbo swung the cross through. Headers off the post from Hill. Through Turnbo getting isolated against Reyes, looking for that backside run of Rachel Hill, who's on oh, really well. Ball through, Weaver. Weaver is through, good save, Yanez. Still there's damage, it's tipped off the top of the net. That is an enormous save for a young goalkeeper finding her sea legs in the NWSL. Here we go, Portland on the attack again. Moultrie getting in that ball in the advanced half space, and it's Weaver on the shoulder between the center back. Well, she didn't just play like this her rookie season. It's taken seven years to develop this kind of composure. Into the penalty area, ball for Bedford, and touched in! Portland has their second. Weaver was right on the doorstep. 2-0 Thorns. And suddenly the division is wide open out west. And Portland just continued to take advantage of those triangles in the wide spaces. Vasconcelo pops up, quick combination play here with an overlapping Moultrie. Looks to play it across. Hannah Bedford does really well to stop her run, create separation away from the defense, gets that one all wrong. But Morgan Weaver is right there on the blind side of Kaylee Real to mop up the initial error there from Bedford. Weaves that across, headers in! Bedford again! She's on fire! Her first brace! Hannah Bedford, have a day! Megan Klingenberg getting high up into the attack for Portland Thorns. Whips this ball across, and it's Bedford who just attacks the space with speed. Great header with power, pace, leaves Shea Yanez with no chance.
but it's Portland and their patient attack looking to change the point of attack. Klingenberg high up into an advanced position, gets isolated against Westfall, and just puts this one in. Hannah Bedford makes the run across Sierra Engi perfectly, steers this one on frame high, so Yanez has no opportunity. Sees the space, attacks the space, attacks that ball, just steers it right on frame to give Portland a commanding 3-0 lead. Hangs across. It's Klingenberg rolling through. It's four. It's Reyes. The Portland Thorns reasserting themselves. The best show on turf. And Reyna Reyes capitalizes on it in the end, but it's her positioning initially in that wide space that gets the left back of San Diego to jump, creating the space for Hannah Bedford to run into right here in between the center back and outside back. Aggressive first touch, and she lifts it. She knows Kaylee Real is going to go in to try to block that cross. She lifts it. Klingenberg plays it back across. Reyna Reyes continues her run, gets positioning over Pogar. She finds something interesting and a way to create some gaps in space. There's the ball to Korniak. Marginally askew. And San Diego changing the point of attack really quickly from Barcenas out to Doniak, who gets isolated against Reina Reyes, serves this one in. It's good double movement here from Taylor Korniak. And San Diego has finally gotten on the board here with 10 minutes to play. Off the set piece, Korniak at it again. Delivered in here through the wide area, and it's Korniak making that back post run, domineering header right over top of Alyssa Walker. Able to redirect this on, on frame. It's just too easy. This looks like something off the training ground when you have those dummies on Emily the- Emily Beckman. It's a matter of seconds. There's the final whistle. It will not be a four-game losing streak for Portland. No, they put four on the board. Knock off San Diego, four goals to one. And their West Division title hopes in the Challenge Cup very much alive.